If I told you your body runs on tiny invisible chemicals with names that sound like bad Wi-Fi passwords, B12KD3, you might laugh, but without them, your skin cracks, your blood thins, your bones snap, and your brain misfires. These microscopic players, they're vitamins, and today we're breaking down every single one you actually need. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is the reason you can see in the dark, or at least why you don't trip over your coffee table every night. It's essential for your eyes, skin, and immune system. Without it, your vision starts to fail, your skin dries out like old leather, and your body's defenses collapse. Back in history, vitamin A deficiency was a serious problem. In some parts of the world, children literally went blind because their diets lacked it. That's why golden rice, genetically modified rice packed with vitamin A, was invented, sparking debates that still rage today. You'll find vitamin A in foods like carrots, sweet potatoes, spinach, and liver. Yes, liver. The food everyone pretends to enjoy once a year but secretly hates. Too little and your night vision fades. Too much and your skin might turn orange. Balance is key. Vitamin B. The complex crew. Vitamin B isn't just one vitamin. It's an entire extended family and like most families it's confusing. There's B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, and B12. Notice there's no B4, B8, B10, or B11. Scientists skipped those like bad movie sequels. Each B vitamin has a job. B1, thiamine. Keeps your nerves firing. Without it, you get beriberi, a disease that once wiped out sailors who ate nothing but polished rice. B2, riboflavin. Helps turn food into energy. Fun fact, it makes your urine neon yellow. If you've ever taken a multivitamin and thought you were glowing, Thank B2. B3, niacin, fuels metabolism. Deficiency causes pellagra. Nicknamed the three Ds, dermatitis, diarrhea, and dementia. Not exactly a fun package deal. B5, pantothenic acid, supports hormone production. It's everywhere in food, so deficiency is rare. Lucky break. B6, pyridoxine, critical for brain function. Without it, you risk confusion and anemia. B7, biotin, marketed as the hair, skin, and nails vitamin. Influencers love it, but most people already get enough from their diet. B9, folate, crucial for making DNA and preventing birth defects. Pregnant women are told to stock up. B12, cobalamin, the heavyweight. Without it, your nervous system malfunctions, your red blood cells deform, and fatigue hits you like a truck. You'll find B vitamins in meat, eggs, leafy greens, and grains. Vegans especially struggle with B12 since it mostly comes from animal products. That's why supplements exist. The B family doesn't get as much spotlight as vitamin C or D, but without them, your body basically stalls like a car with no fuel. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is the celebrity of the vitamin world. It's the one everyone thinks of when they catch a cold. Even though research shows it doesn't actually prevent colds, at best it might shorten how long you're stuck sneezing. Still, its importance is undeniable. The biggest historical lesson in vitamin C deficiency was scurvy. For centuries, sailors on long voyages wasted away. Bleeding gums, rotting teeth, fragile bones. Until someone realized citrus fruits were the cure. That's why British sailors earned the nickname Limeys. Not because they loved gin and tonics, but because limes saved their lives. On a biological level, vitamin C is essential for producing collagen, the protein that keeps your skin firm, your blood vessels strong, and your wounds able to heal. It's also a powerful antioxidant, protecting your cells from damage. You'll find it in oranges, strawberries, bell peppers, broccoli, and yes, limes. The human body can't make it or store much of it, so you need a steady supply from your diet. Go without it and your body literally falls apart. Vitamin D. Vitamin D isn't really a vitamin. It's more like a hormone your body makes when sunlight hits your skin. That's why it's called the sunshine vitamin. Without it, your bones soften, your muscles weaken, and your immune system struggles. Historically, vitamin D deficiency caused rickets, a disease that left children with bowed legs and fragile skeletons especially in industrial cities where smog blocked sunlight. Doctors eventually realized that just letting kids play outside or adding vitamin D to milk could wipe it out. 
Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium, making it essential for bone strength. But it doesn't stop there. It also supports mood regulation and immune defenses. Low levels are linked to fatigue, depression, and higher risks of illness. You can get it from sunlight, fatty fish, fortified milk, and supplements. But here's the irony. Modern life keeps us indoors, covered in sunscreen, staring at screens. So even though rickets sounds like an ancient disease, vitamin D deficiency is making a quiet comeback today. Vitamin E. Vitamin E is the quiet bodyguard of your cells. It's a powerful antioxidant, which means it protects your cell membranes from damage, like rust proofing for your body. Without it, your cells would be under constant attack from free radicals, the unstable molecules that speed up aging and disease. Historically, vitamin E deficiency is rare, but when it happens, it can cause nerve and muscle damage, vision problems, and a weakened immune system. Think tremors, muscle weakness, and difficulty coordinating movement. Symptoms nobody wants. You'll find vitamin E in nuts, seeds, vegetable oils, and leafy greens. Almonds and sunflower seeds are especially rich sources. While supplement companies love to push high-dose vitamin E pills, research shows too much can actually be harmful, potentially increasing risks for certain health problems instead of solving them. So, while vitamin E might not have the fame of vitamin C or the sunshine appeal of vitamin D, it's quietly working behind the scenes, keeping your cells safe from daily wear and tear. Vitamin K Vitamin K is the vitamin you don't hear much about until you start bleeding. Its main job is blood clotting. Without it, even a tiny paper cut could, in theory, turn into a much bigger problem. It helps your body activate proteins that stop bleeding and also plays a role in bone health. The K actually comes from the German word coagulation. Back in the 1920s, scientists noticed chickens fed a fat-free diet started bleeding internally. Turns out, without fat, the birds couldn't absorb vitamin K and their bodies couldn't clot blood properly. You'll find vitamin K in leafy greens like spinach, kale, and broccoli, as well as in vegetable oils. There are actually two main types, K1, found in plants, and K2, found in animal products and fermented foods like cheese and natto. A sticky Japanese soybean dish that smells like old socks but is packed with nutrients. While deficiencies are rare, newborn babies are especially vulnerable, which is why hospitals give them vitamin K shots right after birth. So we've seen how vitamins are less like magic pills and more like hidden building blocks, quietly deciding whether your body thrives or falls apart. But here's the twist. Vitamins are only half the story. Your body also depends on minerals like iron, zinc, and magnesium the microscopic metals that power everything from your heartbeat to your brain. Miss one of those, and the consequences make vitamin deficiencies look tame. And that's where things get really strange.